Yo, what's poppin', you lip rippers? Fishing DFW back out here again today with Front Porch Friday, episode four. Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor though, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you've been enjoying the content. I really appreciate you guys watching. So today, we're gonna unbox another mystery tackle box, all right? You guys are good look at this. This is box number 155. All right, it's a bass fishing kit. Everybody knows I've been watching my videos. Love the bass fish. If you haven't been watching my videos and this is your first time watching one, I appreciate you watching. Go down to uh, my channel and look over all of my videos. All right, so we're gonna go, go ahead and dig right into it real quick. So if you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, it's uh, basically like Christmas every single month. You can get this sent straight to your door. Okay, go to their website. I'll leave a link in the description down below to their website. Um, and basically you get a mystery tackle box sent to your front door, mailed to you once a month, okay? And it's not just lures that are in clearance or anything like that. It's actually good stuff, all right? Um, if you want to check out last week's Front Porch Friday episode, episode number three where i unboxed my first one of these ever all right so as always get a little book okay uh and then you get a sticker in every one this one says tree pounder last week's i had a mystery tackle box sticker itself okay this one says tree pounder man i like that that's probably gonna that's going on the laptop you guys Okay, and then you get a list that tells you what's inside, all right, let's just go ahead and go on through it. So we got a, uh, it says a, a Vexen Deep Thud Series, four foot depth, fat boy, it's a square nose. Crate bank. All right. Looks like it's got some chartreuse color with a black with a black top right there. Let's see. Sounds pretty good. All right. Up next is the Mustad scatter shad blade jig uh it looks something like a chatterbait so you guys get a good picture of that good view on that excuse me uh it's the mustad scatter shad blade jig like i said it looks like some type of chatterbait slash swim bait so i'm about to give this uh this thing a, a test and see you know what kind of action it's got in in the water. Okay, up next we got you know uh, three odd hooks, set of two hooks, offset, good for Texas rig. And to go along with that, we've got the net bait, watermelon candy dagger, four and a half inch. You guys know green pumpkin and watermelon red you can't go wrong all right so this is some type of creature bait it kind of resembles uh, a crawl you guys want me I'll go ahead and open one up so you guys can see it what it really looks like Pull these apart. So it's something like a bandito bug from Guggen is what I'm guessing, okay? But uh, I mean, this thing looks amazing. So you could throw this on a Texas rig with a weight, without a weight, uh, without a weight, 
uh, it's going to fall real slow through the water and these are just going to have all kinds of action while they're falling um, you can even use this as a trailer on a swim bait uh, and on this chatter bait right here if this is a chatter bait like i said it looks like a mixture guys i've never seen anything like this it looks like a mixture like a chatter bait and a swim jig uh, I'm really really interested to see that what what, what kind of action it, it has But it's got some white colors on the skirt, but it's also got some green pumpkin in there and This used as a trailer on that might work out pretty good. Okay Put this back in the bag seal it back up But basically guys the way mystery tackle box works is you know you should be able to go out with this box and fish with everything that they have in there. I've got hooks, I've got some soft plastics, I've got a crate bait, and I've got a swim bait slash chatter bait. All right, and it's got a little ruler on the box. Okay. And it says right here, catch, measure, and share. So you catch, you catch a fish, and then you measure it using this or you know a regular measure, and then you share it. You share a picture of your fish on Instagram using hashtag MTB Keeper. MTB, of course, short for Mystery Tackle Box. Okay. All right, guys. The last thing we got here is uh, Hoke Fish Full Dominion Series Worms. So the hook fish says on the back, a skillful act intended to outwit or mystify fish into believing something is real when it's not. It says our baits have the proper size, action and profile that screens an easy meal. These things are critical to invite the bite. That's what it says on the back. I'll go ahead and open one of these up. So basically this just, just looks like your normal green pumpkin worm but it's got like an arrow tail um, wacky rig this thing possibly okay uh, if you don't know what wacky rig is look it up basically you're gonna put like an o-ring around right here which would be the egg sac of a worm all right, and then you put your hook through that, and as it's falling through the water, this is what it does right here, okay? But I'm looking at this more like a Nico rig, which is you put a nail weight in the head, and it makes this thing way down like this, and then this will go like this in the water, okay? So as you're dragging this across with your hook right here in the egg sac, there's a nail weight here that's going to make this this part hit the bottom of the water column of the the bed of the lake or pond wherever you're fishing river and it's almost like a ned rig but a lot of action right here so we're gonna have to give this a try as well, well guys that is it as far as this week's mystery tackle box goes uh, I'm got Father's Day coming up this weekend so I am ready to see what I am getting I'm hope I'm getting a kayak might have to order it uh, I don't know if you guys can tell from watching my videos or not but I'm a pretty hefty fella you know uh, I love eating some food but so some of these big box stores around my area don't really carry anything that has a weight capacity that I feel comfortable with. Um, so I really am looking for something that's a sit on top kayak, uh, something that the the seat is either a adjustable or it sits high in the kayak. But I need good stability because of my body build, um, and. You know it's hard they're hard to find so I found like two or three that I'm looking at but like I said I might have to order them and it seems like through the pandemic that 
everybody started buying kayaks and everybody started really started getting into fishing i think i'm a little uh late to this youtube game by i would say a year but it could be more uh, but you know guys i appreciate you guys watching i'm gonna stick with this i really do appreciate you guys support but do me a favor be sure you smash that thumbs up button all right like this video it really does help out the channel okay smash that subscribe button share this video with your friends and anybody that you know that likes to go fishing that likes to bass fish that likes to pond hop in urban areas you know um, places you might have never been before places that you're not sure if there's fish and you just go out there with a rod and reel chunk chunk a lure out there and get a bite you know next thing you know you got yourself a little honey hole all right but if you know anybody that likes videos like this just share this video guys all right i really do appreciate you guys watching and i will see you guys on the next one and that's fishing dfw out wow.